We have new information this morning on the uh, origins of the Russia probe. As we continue to focus on investigating the investigators, U.S. Attorney John Durham's probe into the misconduct during the run-up to the 2016 election has transitioned now into a full-on criminal investigation, according to Fox News sources, meaning Durham now has subpoena power and can impanel a grand jury. One source telling Fox News, DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz's upcoming report will shed light on why the probe switched courses. Joining us right now is Vice President Mike Pence, his chief of staff, Mark Short. Mark, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Maria, it's great to be with you. So this has been going on a long time, and I know my viewers know that this has been an issue that has bothered me a great deal, the fact that they uh, basically set up and tried to um, entrap uh, people from Donald Trump's campaign back in 2016, as early as the end of 2015. Where are the indictments? What is uh, William Barr doing at this point? Now we see that this is a criminal investigation. What are your expectations? Well, Maria, thank you for uh, shedding light on this for several months. I think the reality is the American people have a right to know what was the impartial Department of Justice doing. We should have a very impartial Department of Justice. And if instead FISA warrants were extended in order to pursue a political agenda, the American people should know that. And so this investigation is ongoing. And uh, we look forward to reading Horowitz's IG report that we believe is going to, it seems to lead to criminal uh, indictments. You know, and, uh, and that's the next step. There, there were all of these informants running into Trump campaign staffers. Uh, I think the first one who was surveilled was General Michael Flynn or early in 16. Then you had informants going into George Papadopoulos and, of course, the surveilling of Carter Page as well. If we learn that those informants were, in fact, working for Western Intel, that does show entrapment. Is that right? Uh, Maria, I would agree with that. I, I think that a lot of us, you know, that has to be something the Department of Justice comments on. I'm not privy to all their information, but I think we all share that concern. And I think, the Amer again, the American people have a right to know, was the Obama Justice Department actually pursuing a political agenda or were they pursuing blind justice? And that's a very important question. It's just such an extraordinary story, really the biggest political scandal of our time. And we look forward to uh, that report because you're right, the American people want answers now. Let me switch gears to the answers around China because China is slamming uh, your boss, the vice president, Mike Pence. Beijing says that Pence's critical comments yesterday on China were, quote, full of arrogance, hypocrisy and lies. Your reaction? Well, Maria, I think that the vice president extended a hand to say that we do not want to decouple from China. We're anxious to have a trade deal. But at the same time, what I think we've seen administrations do, Republican and Democrat alike, is to say, once we allow China in the World Trade Organization, would there be an expectation that China have other reforms? And the evidence is not. And this president, this administration is going to be honest with the American people. As this president said, this has been the greatest transfer of wealth this world has ever known to see what's happened over the last 30 years as far as wealth from America going to China and rebuilding China. And there are expectations that freedoms would flow from that, and it hasn't happened. And the vice president very clearly laid out much of the oppression that still happens from religious rights, much of the oppression that happens from free speech, but also even economically, there are expectations of fairness that hasn't happened, whether or not that's forced transfer of ownership, whether or not that's intellectual property, theft, whether or not that's uh, manipulation of the currency. And so this administration is going to be honest with the American people. And this president is looking to strike a fair deal that is honest to protect American workers. And so this, yeah. the vice president laid that out very clearly in his speech yesterday. And well, I commend all of your viewers to go read it. Well, you know, the thing is, is that this is, a, this is a situation where this is a debate and a difference in just values. You're talking about a communist country versus a democracy, a country right. that is, is tracking its citizens, that is stealing and intellectual property, doing whatever it wants based on the state laws, you know, and so it, it's hard to imagine what kind of a, a, you know, a partnership the U.S. and China can have when you're actually, you know, debating actual values. And the vice president called out the NBA in his speech yesterday after a number of people in the NBA basically rolled over uh, because China told them, stop talking about this. 